Hey everyone, so I've got a lot of requests lately asking me to show you all how to play your Wii backups on your Wii U. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to do that using USB Loader GX, and let's just jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is start off on the PC. There's three programs that we're going to need to grab here, and that's obviously USB Loader GX, the Wii Backup Manager, and the FAT32 Format GUI, which you've probably seen in a previous video. I'm not going to download this because I've already have like twice, <laughs> so I'm just going to leave the link for you guys to uh, download in the description below. I'll leave a link for everything that I'm using today down in the description below. But uh, anyways, we're going to start with the USB Loader GX, and I'm just going to click the download. Pretty simple and instant, and same thing for the Wii Backup Manager. And then once again, download this, but I already have. And let's just go over to our desktop. All right, now that we're on the desktop, before we continue with the programs, we're gonna need either a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive from here. The process is the same for both. I'll be using an external hard drive today, but you can use a USB thumb drive if you need to. But there is a compatibility list that you can see uh, right here. And I'll leave a link in the description below for this as well. This will tell you what thumb drives slash hard drives are all compatible with the Wii U. So I suggest you take a look at this before uh, attempting any of this. So the first thing we're going to do, I already have my hard drive plugged in, so I'm going to open the FAT32 format GUI tool. I already know that it is drive J and I labeled it HDD, so you're going to select the drive of your choice. And uh, quick format's fine, just make sure that's checked and hit start. This will erase everything that you have on the hard drive, so make sure you back up whatever you're using beforehand. And it's done. So now that that's all set, we can go ahead and open up the drive. And we're going to make a folder inside of this. And we're just going to call it WBFS. Drag that over so you guys can see. And uh, we're done with this for now. We'll come back to this in a little bit. So now that we're done formatting the drive, the next thing I'm going to do is take my ROM here, which for me today I'm using Carnival Games. I'm going to right click and go to Extract to Carnival Games. And inside of this folder, you'll be able to see the WBFS file. That's the file that we need, but we're also going to run that file through the Wii Backup Manager. This will help it be uh, more easily read on the hard drive. So you have the option of using the Win64EXE or the 32 minus 64, so you'll just have to choose what yours is uh, for your PC. Once we open this, it's pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to go to Add, Files, and we're gonna go to the desktop and we're looking for Carnival Games USA. And here is the WBS file. So automatically that puts that in here and it gives it a game ID. We're gonna make sure this has a check mark and we are going to transfer this as a WBS file to the hard drive of our choice here, but this has to be in the WBS file. So just hit OK, OK again, and this is going to start the transfer process. This is a really small game and you can pick up a copy of this for like a dollar on eBay or maybe a little more. So this transferred pretty quickly and if we just double check on that, we can open up the hard drive and inside of the WBS folder, we'll see our game and it's already repackaged and renamed. This is exactly what we want and this is what will make it more easily read on the hard drive. So we're all done as far as the hard drive slash thumb drive goes. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is put the USB loader application onto our SD card. So take your SD card out of the Wii U and put it on the PC. All right, now that we have the SD card in, it's actually pretty simple. So just open up the USB loader zip file, open up this apps folder here, and we're gonna toss this USB loader GX into the apps folder on our SD card. You can see that right here. So if I open this up, you should see that the USB Loader GX is right inside, along with all of its files. And that's it. So now we're going to head over to the Wii U, and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so once you start up your console, you're going to notice you have this message here, basically asking you to format your hard drive that you just plugged in. You're going to hit cancel on this. The only time you're going to want to do this is if you're doing Wii U games, but that's something for a whole nother video. So for this purpose, just hit cancel when you see this message. So the next thing we're going to do is launch our custom firmware. For me, that's Tiramisu, so I'm going to open up the health and safety information icon. 
you see this message again, once again, just hit cancel. And now we're gonna be opening up the virtual Wii. Okay, from here, we're gonna be opening up the homebrew channel. And it should be stated as well, you will not be able to use USB Loader GX until you run the CIOS installer. Now, I've already made two videos covering the CIOS installer in both my Haxichi video and Teramisu video. So I'll leave a link in the description below for you all to follow that because I'm not gonna be doing that again here today. But assuming that you have all that done using the D2X CIOS installer, we're gonna be launching the USB Loader GX. And we're just gonna let this think and do its thing. And here we are, you can see that Carnival Games is now in here. Now one cool thing that you can do with this, you can uh, click the cover image and just hit OK. And this will download the cover photos for whatever game that you're putting in here. So for example, if you already backed up your Wii games to uh, play on your actual Nintendo Wii, you can now transfer those over to your Wii U. So that's a, a cool added benefit to using this. And here we are. Now let's go ahead and just open it. And we'll start it just to kind of prove that it works. It's really that simple. Uh, if you run into any issues, most likely it could be a compatibility issue with uh, whatever kind of drive you're using. Um, but this is actually just pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna test this a little bit. I will say one thing though, if you are using a external hard drive on this, you're gonna need one of those Y splitter cables. I'll leave a link in the description below and I'm sure I'll leave a photo up here. So thank you, future Jeremy. So yeah, you can see that the game boots up just fine. I'm not gonna go through and make a whole gameplay video of this. So I think I'm gonna start wrapping things up here. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover similar content like this or maybe try Wii U games next. Uh, and also, let me know if you run into any trouble. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys later. Adios.